Hey YouTube, it's me, Key. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a story time about the time my ex stole my car. Yeah. So let's get started. So this ex, we're going to call him Sneaky. Because he was very sneaky. He lied about literally everything. Like, it's just so much behind this man. Alright, so how he stole my car. So me and Sneaky was like calling ourselves breaking up. And we had like stopped talking for about maybe a month so we called ourselves being done with, with each other and like out of nowhere he just calls me saying how he was sorry and he wants to be with me and just you know work things out so me being dumb I'm like yeah we could work it out or whatever and he was like well I want to see you where you at I'm like you know I'm at just pull up so he pulls up and he's in his sister's car. So at the time, he didn't have a car, but he claimed like he was buying the car from his sister. And he was just making payments on it. I'm like, okay. It was a little raggedy piece of shit car. Yeah. And it made like a lot of noise. Like when he drove it, like when you drove the car, you could hear, you could literally hear him coming down the street. Like, rawr, rawr. like it was so loud. So yeah, he pulls up. It's like late at night or whatever. Um, my kids are in bed, so I just come outside to, like, chill, chill with him and, you know, just talk about things, talk about, like, how our relationship ended, what we could do to work on it, and, you know, just see how things went. Why I came outside, I don't know. But, um, so, let's see. We was chilling or whatever, and then I remember him telling me, like, his sister's party, my, his sister was gonna have a party, that same weekend and he wanted me to go so i'm like yeah sure like me and his sister we was cool we didn't have any kind of problems so i agreed to go so the, over the next couple of days you know we had been talking and things were going good so i thought like you know why not go to the party um because i was second guessing it but i'm like i'll just go because you know like i said me and his sister was cool and me and him are getting along so i might as well go big mistake <laughs> so here comes the time of the party like him and i were all were together the whole day we was just like riding around like he went to go do his laundry well when i met up with him he was already doing his laundry and um he said he wants to see me so i pulled up and just you know chill with him until he finished his laundry then we left his cart um at the laundromat and hopped in my truck we just rolled around um, he went and got a haircut. We was just chilling, you know, having a good day. So, this was the same night as the party. So, that same night, um, like, I, we rolled around all day, like I said. And it was it was getting close to, um, getting close to the time for the party to start. So, um, I told him, I was like, I'm going to go home and get ready. You going to, um, you going to ride with me or are you just going to, I'll meet you at the party. He was like, no, I'll ride with you. So he ends up leaving his car at the laundromat. Remember that because that's important. He left his car at the laundromat. So we go to my house. I get ready. I talk my sister into watching my, my youngest son. And I was like, I was telling her like, oh, I'm not going to be gone that long. I'm going to be back, you know, before morning. So you really don't have to do much, but just put the baby to sleep and then I'll take it from there when I get back. She was like, okay, cool. So I get ready and we head out and go to the party. But before we actually go to the party, he, he stops by the liquor store and he's buying like all kind of drinks. And remind you, I really don't drink, like I drink wine, but I'm not like a heavy liquor drinker. I'll drink wine here and there, but not liquor. So he's buying like all these different kinds of, um, liquors and like he's telling me oh take this shot take this shot and i'm mixing dark and light liquor so before the party even start i feel myself getting like messed up so like he's driving my truck and i'm sitting in the passenger side i just lean the chair back and i'm like okay you know i'm already feeling it i'm a lightweight obviously because i really don't drink so i'm just laying back i'm like all right like let's go to the party i'm not gonna drink no more but he just kept giving me liquor remember that because that's important he just kept giving me liquor so we get to his um his mom's house because that's where the party was and i go upstairs it's not even a party it's just his sister by herself 
<laughs> and it's me and him. It's just only three of us at this so-called party. And I'm like, okay, like, when is everybody else coming? He was like, she tells me, she was like, oh, no, I just, you know, was just hanging out for my birthday. And then he gave her a bottle because he, I guess she likes Grey Goose or whatever. So he bought her, like, this really big bottle for her birthday. And she was just, like, all excited, like, oh, you got, you got me some liquor for my birthday. Thanks, bro. And she was like, well, let's, who want to take some shots? Let's take some shots. And then so we was like, cool, let's take shots. So we're taking shots, you know, we playing a game, uh, drinking games, whatever. We just big chilling, like, it was cool. So I'm just, like, you know, talking to his sister, and I noticed that Sneaky is going in and out the house. And then I didn't even realize that he had my phone. Yeah, he had my phone the whole time. And by then, like, I'm sloppy drunk. I can't even stand up. Like, I, his sister is talking to me, and I'm, like, just falling asleep. Like, she's like, you good? I'm like, girl, no. Like, I'm drunk. I need to go home. And it's probably, like, maybe 1 in the morning, maybe 1 or 2 in the morning. I'm like, yeah, I need to go home. Sneaky comes back in the house, and then that's when I see him. He had my phone. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, definitely, I'm just looking at your phone. I didn't have an iPhone or anything. Like, I had an Android, but I didn't have my, uh my password on it like i knew when i was around him to keep a password on my phone but like i said me and him we had been broken up for a month so there was no need for me to have a password on my phone so i'm thinking like you know we're we're working on things i'm not gonna need a password like maybe he's changed you know why have a password on my phone so i wasn't even thinking clearly all right so all of a sudden he gets up and he tells me Let's go outside. Let's go to the truck. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, all drunk and stuff, falling over. He got to help me outside, help me down the stairs, help me in the car. Like, I'm so faded. So, I'm telling his sister, we'll be right back, girl. Like, no, we not. <laughs> so, we get in the truck. <clears throat> we was in there just chilling or whatever. Chilling. Right. So, all I remember after that is waking up the next morning. And I think it's about like eight in the morning. It reminds you, he left my truck running. Like I woke up and I immediately look over and my truck is on. And I turns it off. I turn the truck off and I wake him up. I'm like shaking him. I'm like, get up, get up. We fell asleep in the car. Get up. He's like, what, what, what? I'm like, get up. We fell asleep in the car. Then he wakes up like he comes to his senses like, oh, damn, we did fall asleep in the car. So I'm like, damn, um. You done ran all the gas out of the car. Like, you left it running all night. He was like, oh, damn, my bad. He's like, well, I'm finna go in the house and go to sleep. I'm like, what? He's like, yo, I'm tired. I'm drunk. I'm like, yeah, me too. Like, I can't, you know, I can't even drive. But, um, should I have to do what I have to do? I have to sober myself up real quick because, you know, I wasn't trying to leave my truck with him or have him drive me home, drive me home and he's drunk. So um what, what was I oh yeah 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 so yeah because he left my car on all, my truck on all night my there was no gas in my truck so I'm like damn like there's no gas in my truck um I don't think I'm gonna make it to the gas station because hit, where they lived at it was kind of far from the gas station I'm like damn, and it's the truck and to remind you I just got it and I don't know like you know how long I could drive the truck before it uh, cut off you know without any gas so he was just like oh just um just take my car because remember his car was at the laundromat he was just like take my car and go home and then i'll meet up with you. i'll meet up with you later like i'll go to the gas station i'll walk down well have somebody take me to the gas station put some gas in your car and then bring it to you we'll just switch swap out cars and i was like okay cool so, um, he goes in the house and then like, <clears throat> I had to walk to the laundromat. Like the laundromat really wasn't that far from where he stayed. So I just walked down there and, um, got in his car. I'm like, damn, like he really don't have no gas either, but I know he has a little bit more than what I have, but still like, I'm gonna just pull off and then like go to the closest gas station that I see. So y'all, I live like really far from his sister. That's why I'm like. 
I could just get some gas on the way because I know his gas is not going to, you know, make it to my house. My truck would never made it. Like, I was on EEE. -E -E. Remind you, the car was on all night. So, yeah. So, I was like, okay, I'll just pull up to a gas station. And I found the nearest gas station. I pulled up. And I tried to um put, like, $10 in his tank. And my car declined. So, I'm like, no, let me see. I, I know I got money on my car. So, y'all, I checked my cash app. I didn't have any cash on me. Check my cash app. There was no money on my damn cash app. I'm like, wait, what? Like, and I had just started using cash app. Like, I really didn't know too much about it. So, I didn't know I was supposed to have a pin on my cash app. Y'all, tell me why I go to my history and I see he didn't send my money from my cash app to his cash app. That's what he was doing my phone. He was stealing my money. Yeah, he stole my fucking money. So, I call him. I'm like... You, st man, I started going off on him. I'm like, you raggedy mother, you stole my fucking money off my cart. So he was like, well, um, I'm going to give it back to you. I'm like, like, I went off on him. I went left and he was like, you going to get your money back? This is that. No, no, bitch. No, you don't steal from me. The fuck? I was fucking mad. Like, come on now. Like I got kids and you, what is you doing? This is why you want to be back with me so you can steal my money with your broke ass? He had me hot. My bad, y'all. I had to stop. My dad was bringing my baby home. But if y'all think I'm too close, it's probably because I am. Um, I can't see without my glasses. If I wear my glasses, you're going to see that little ring lights. It's going to be annoying. But let me just say this. Because y'all obviously hear the background. I do not own any rights to whatever sound y'all hear in the background i don't know if you supposed to say that on here but i'm just gonna say it anyway so i don't get flagged or copyrighted whatever but yeah he stole my money he stole all of my little funds on my car my cash up card and yeah so remind you i have his truck he, i mean i have his car his little raggedy little bucket fuck it bucket i have his car and he has my truck so, um, later on that day, he calls me. He was like, well, yeah, I'm going to bring your truck or whatever. I got some gas. Of course you got some gas. You stole my money. <laughs> but, yeah, he's like, he got some gas. And he's going to bring my truck. But he wanted to know if he could use it to go to a party, his sister's actual party. Your sister's party. But the night before was supposed to be your sister. Work. See, this how I know. Like, he set me up, y'all. Anyways, let, let me just keep telling the story. So, yeah, I'm like, okay, me being them. Yeah, you can you can use my truck to go to your sister party. But after, you better bring me my shit back. You better bring me my car or it's going to be a problem. He was like, okay, don't worry. I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to um, bring it right after. But, you know, don't, don't be getting on my nerves. Don't be calling me the whole time I'm there. Like I said, I'm going to break it. You can't tell me what to do. You're in my shit. But I'm, you know, I'm not trying to do too much because he do have my truck and I know how he is. So I'm just trying to play it cool. But inside I'm burning like it's a, it's a volcano finna erupt. You know, I'm hot. So I wait till about like midnight and I call him. I'm like, hey, where you at? He's like, um, I'm still here. I'm going to probably be here for another hour and then I'm going to pull up. I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm just checking in on him and he's checking in on he's checking in on me and I'm I'm surprised he's even calling me to let me know like you know to keep me updated, let me know like what's going on and his next move. So maybe about like maybe around two, maybe almost three, he calls me and he tells me he's on his way. I'm like, cool, like just uh call me when you're outside and I'll let you in. Because, you know, sometimes, like, he come over and stay the night. Like, he'll go out and then he'll come back to my house. He'll stay the night with me. So, we had, well, I was assuming he was going to stay the night. He was like, all right, all right, cool. Like, I'll let you know. He never shows up. Never shows up. So, I'm stressing myself out because, like, I'm just hoping he's not trying to pull nothing on me. Like, I'm not even thinking about how he set me up. That's not even, you know coming 
I'm not even putting two and two together how he just, you know, set me up and stole my car. I realized that way after the fact. So, the next morning, he calls me like 6 o'clock in the morning. He's like, oh, my bad, baby. I fell asleep. I got real drunk and I didn't want to come, you know. So, I just, I fell asleep in the car and I fell asleep in the car. I'm like, if you don't bring up fucking ass with my truck, he's like, okay, I'm finna be on my way. So, it's like 8 o'clock now, and he's still not here. I'm calling his phone, blowing him up. He's not answering the phone, y'all. He's just not answering the phone. I'm like, this got me messed up. I'm like, I know. Like, he's not playing with me right now. So, it's Sunday. The next day, I was supposed to start my new job. Like, I really wanted this job so bad. Like, I prayed on it. I even prayed for the interview. This this company I was going to be working for was so amazing. It had amazing benefits. Hold on, y'all. Really amazing benefits. Like, I really wanted that job. And the pay was so good. So, I'm getting nervous because I'm like, damn, like, I hope you don't try to play with me. And I'm supposed to start my job tomorrow. So, like, he finally calls back. He's like, I'm coming. I'm just doing something right now. Like, the whole day, he's just playing with me. He playing with me, playing with me, playing with me. So, I'm getting so mad. I'm like, he don't know. Like, I'll, I'll do something. To him. <laughs> like, for real. Like, I'll do something to you. You gay. Man, I'm just, like, stressed out. The next day comes. He don't show up. He stops answering the phone for me. I'm like, I'm just mad because, like, I really wanted this job. I didn't have no job at the time. And, like, I'm asked out now. There's no way for me to even start another training class. That was the last training class. So, I'm going to be missing out on a really, like, good company, you know? And I was going to be a permanent employee. Like, I got hired on permit. And, like, that never really happens for me. So, I felt blessed to even, you know, I felt blessed to even be offered that position sorry y'all he he over here distracts me stop so i felt really blessed and i just felt hurt like he really did that to me and then he gonna try to tell me i was lying i didn't really have no job to start who lies about something like that and so i'm like all right well i'm just gonna try to get another job i ended up getting hired for um this fast food this fast food place by my house i'm like well okay well you didn't uh come for me to start my job today well you better have your ass here tonight so i can you know fill out paperwork for this other job and start the same day like i need my wheels man because my kids gotta go to uh, go to daycare and then i'm gonna have to go to work take them back and forth like you bring your ass to my shit he's like yeah i'll be there i'll be there he pulls the same shit stops answering the phone so yeah he never showed up the next day after that like i'm like I'm just going to have to figure something out to get my truck back because, yeah, he's playing games. He don't plan on giving my truck back. And when somebody says, somebody actually said that to me, a boy will help you lose it all. He really will. Like, this man that made me lose two jobs. Like, I'm losing out on money. He didn't stole my money off my car. And this ain't even all of it, y'all. Like, all right. So, I, um, I hit on my sister. I'm like, um, Sneaky Dance took my truck, and I'm going to need you to help me get it back. Like, I got a plan. Is you with it or you ain't? She was like, yeah, I'm with it. I'll, like, I'll help you get your truck back. Because she really didn't even like him. So, of course, she was, you know, going to help me. <laughs> like, she done went on steakhouse with me about dude or whatever. She didn't she done did a lot. Behind dude, I mean. So, she, yeah, she didn't did a lot. So... I came up with this little plan. So the plan was, I knew when his mom got off work and him having my truck, I knew he was going to go pick her up because his mom usually catches the bus. So I knew he was going to go pick her up because he had my truck. So, okay. I was like, all right, I know what time his mom gets off work. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to ambush him. Like when he pulls into this apartment complex, we going to pull in behind him and just hop out. And I'm a uh, you you open the passenger's door side, and I'm gonna just open my driver door side and snatch him out. She's like, okay, cool, sis, I got you, I got you. So we hop in his little bucket, and we drive down to um we well we drive down to the apartment complex, but I wanted to be where I could see him coming in and be behind him. So we went like to the next apartment complex, and we waited there for him to pull up. 
like clockwork. I was so right. I seen him pulling up. And once I seen him drive past in my truck, I hopped right behind him. Well, not exactly behind him, directly behind him because I knew he would have seen me. So, um, I waited like for two cars to pass and I got behind one of those cars. So, he pulls in and like I let him go like ahead of me some and then I pulled in. So, he's pulling like going to the back of the apartments and then like as soon as his mom like he stopped because I knew he was going to let his mom get out and then he was going to go on about his business. So, as soon as his mom opened the door to get out, I parted up and pulled up behind my truck. Me and my sister hopped out. She went or she ran on the passenger side. I ran on the driver's side, opened my door. I was like, get the fuck out of my car. He's like, what you stalking me? Like, he was so surprised to see me. It was like, he's seen a ghost or something. He was like, you stalking me? What? Like, he just couldn't believe it. So I'm like, get out of my car. Get out of my car. He's like, no, this is my truck now. I swear he told me that that's his truck now. Yes, he's girl, not girl, but I'm sure it's you know men watching too. But yes, he told me that that's his truck now. He um uh, he took it from me. I'm not getting it back. He just he just going off. I'm like, yeah, that's what you think. I'll call the police on you right now. I'll call the police on you right now. He's like, call him. So he he like slams her like we're tugging Warren with the door like pulling it pushing it. He like slams the door real hard because he got that man shirt. He just snatches the door and slams it and just takes off. Like my sister tried to stand in front of the truck, but he backed up and went some kind of I don't know. He did some crazy stuff. He like backed up or whatever and went around. So um his mom like I'm all crying to his mom like he stole my truck. He won't give me my truck back. He made me lose two jobs. He stole my money. She's like, what? I can't believe he's acting like this. She called him. She's like, you better bring your ass back here and get this girl her truck. I hear him on the phone. He's like, man, mama, quit talking to them hoes. Quit talking to them hoes. Go in the house. Mama, go in the house. She's like, no, you know you're wrong. This girl has kids. You better bring her, her truck back right now. They're just going back and forth. Like, he has so much respect for his mom. But, um, like, he wasn't, you know, cussing her out or anything. So, so I knew, like, him having a lot of respect for her, she can help me get my truck back because she's going to he's gonna listen to her. But uh, I was surprised that he was telling her, Mom, I'm not giving her anything back. She owes me this. She owes me this truck. I'm like, no way. He really didn't say I owed it. Like, you is weird as hell. I don't owe you shit but an ass whooping at this point, boy. I owe you an ass whooping. You done did a lot in this last little three days. You done stole my money. You done made me miss two jobs and you done stole my wheels like is you be for real be for real so he was just like yeah go in the house and his mom we stayed outside for like maybe two hours just talking i'm crying and stuff oh, i need my car and she was just telling me how like she didn't tell me so much about dude she was just like you need to leave my son he ain't shit he ain't no good he's a piece of shit and then she just gave me like the tea on him so she had told me i'm not i don't know she just gave me some information that i needed to know to put his ass in jail because i didn't know like dude was on parole and i didn't know all that like you know he hit that for me like usually if i start talking to a dude i'll ask him about it like his background or whatever i'm like you ever been in jail prison stuff like that he's like no you know and it, but if they have, like, I'm going to want to know why I'm going to look them up all this. But when I looked him up, I didn't find anything. That's because he was from another state, you know? So I didn't think to like check anywhere else because I didn't, I didn't know. So yeah, remind you, he had just got out of prison. He was on parole. It was a whole lot about dude. Like I did not know. So yeah, that's why he didn't want to come in contact with the, with the police. Like, as soon as I said I'm calling the police on him, he left. He hurried up and left in my truck. So, um, he never came back. I ended up having to drive his little bucket home. It had got late. I'm like, it's dark. I need to feed my kids. Put them in the bed. Give them a bath. Put them in the bed. I'm just going to go home. So, I left. And then, like, let me see. What happened the next day? Okay. So, the next day. 
I actually did call the police. I had called the um my car company. I let them know, hey, somebody stole my car. And I need y'all to go find it because I know y'all got a tracking device on it. Go get my car. So they were like, okay, yeah, we'll we'll track the car. And I called the police. The police found him sleeping in my car in a in a uh, in a Walmart parking lot. He was sleeping in the truck. So they the car company called me and was like, oh, we found him. We found the truck. The police is there. And um the police, um, well, what did they say? Oh, we're just gonna have our guy. Tell the tell the truck to our company and you can come pick it up. So the police don't even take him to jail, even though after I told these people my truck was stolen. This is not my boyfriend. My truck was stolen. I want to press charges. They let him go. Like they didn't even do anything. So I'm just mad at them. Like y'all so y'all stupid. Like so. Of course, after you know, the car company took my truck from him. He starts calling my phone. So I'm like, you better give me my car back. This, this, and that. I'm like, so you steal my car and you think you're finna sleep in it? You know, like, you just do the most and you want to call me like I done stole your shit. I only have your car because you stole my truck. Like, make it make sense. I don't want this raggedy piece of shit. I'm embarrassed because I got to ride around in it. And before that, like, I had needed gas, so I pulled up on one of my little booze and got some money, and I was so embarrassed because that car's a piece of shit. Like, they just asked me, like, who the hell car is this? Like, I can't believe you in something so raggedy like this. Like, I was embarrassed, you know? I can't be seen in that motherfucker. But, yeah. So, um, yeah, the next day, the next day, he had called me. He was talking shit or whatever, and then he was like, he gonna come get his car, and I'm like, no, nah, you ain't getting nothing. Now, you ain't getting nothing. So, he's staring at me. He's staring to, like, hurt me or whatever. So I'm like, okay, you can, yeah, pull up, pull up and come fight me, pull up and come fight me, come do everything you said you're going to do on this phone, come do it. He's like, yeah, so I'm on my way, soon as I get it right, soon as I get it right over, I'm finna show ass and I'm finna get my car back, you gonna give me my fucking car today. I'm like, yeah, come get it. So I hung up with him, I called the police, I'm like, um, yeah. <laughs> he stole my car the day before he's harassing me he's threatening to hurt me he said he's gonna keep like all this stuff i'm like i will no longer be a victim he's gonna pay for what he did to me he gonna pay like i don't care it's time something it's time you know for me to take a stand as a woman and as a, a victim you know you're gonna get dealt with today by the police so um the police came like i gave him my statement whatever and the police look so the police told me that they were leaving right they didn't leave i come outside no no he pull up he pull up he told me he was like hey i'm outside he's like oh so you don't call the police on me huh i'm like what are you talking about he's like it's six motherfucking police cars at your corner what you mean i peeked my head outside i'm like oh sh like it's six police cars out there like they deep they waiting on his ass i guess they ran his name and seen like he's a problem so they were like oh yeah we're gonna get him and he threatening you too and the police called me they were like so is that him in that car right there <laughs> i'm like uh no and they were like are you sure because we heard you yelling like we heard we heard you yelling so i guess they were like close enough to hear me whatever because me and him we were arguing on the phone i'm like no they were like tell the truth i'm like okay yeah we was arguing but that that's not him because he had pulled off by now i'm like that that's not him like he didn't pull up yet i'm so stupid like what was the point of me calling police just to tell them that that wasn't him? Like, I should have got him caught up because of the, the stuff that he did to me. Like, he needed to pay, you know? But I ended up telling police, like, that wasn't him. So, he left because he seen all the all those police and he knew I wasn't playing with him. Like, you can't keep doing shit to me and me not doing anything. Me not getting my revenge or retaliating or me getting justice, you know, for myself. And so, after that... His mom and his sisters came, like, eventually, like, they pulled up and got the car. Because, like I said, it really wasn't even his car. He was just driving the car. And he was telling me, like, he was buying the car from his sister and he was making payments on it. His broke ass wasn't making no payments. He had asked her if he could buy from her, but he didn't even have no money to buy it. So, he was just borrowing the car. So, 
I was talking to his mom. He was, she was just like, yeah, well, the car is, it's in my name. And it's his sister's car. You know, I'm just going to take the car back and he's not going to be allowed to drive it anymore. So he's going to be carless now. I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I don't even want it. I was just keeping it because of what he did to me. You guys can have your car back. And, um, you know, I don't need them telling the police or him telling the police, hey, yeah, she stole my car. Like, I don't want to have Grand Theft Auto on my name. I got too much to lose, y'all. So, yeah, after that, um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, they, when they come to get the car, they open the trunk, y'all. They open the trunk and they see, like, they see so much shit he done stole from me in the trunk. I don't know why I didn't think to look in the damn trunk. But they, it's so much shit he done stole from me. It's girl shit in the car. Like, it was a really big girl bag and it's like some clothes, like some brand new clothes in there. And I, I'm sure I know who it was because <clears throat> he had asked me to meet up with him somewhere. He had a girl in the car with him. We went together then, but she was just looking at me like she had a problem. She was real, real small. And the clothes that were in the in the um, bag, they were real small. So I'm like, it must be hers. Like, he homeless. He he ain't really had no worries. I'm like, he homeless. She homeless. I guess they just riding around sleeping in the car together. I don't Cause like, like I said, the police said they found him sleeping in my truck in the Walmart parking lot. So yeah, once I went and got my damn truck back, this man directed like the front of my truck. It's like he hit something. So like the, um, the front headlight was hanging out. He had all kind of trash in my car. Like he just dirty. Just ugh. like, you don't steal my car and then fuck it up. Just a piece of shit. But I didn't talk to him anymore. Oh, I mean, right after that, I didn't talk to him, but yeah, he had reached out to me maybe like, let me see. He had reached out to me like six months later. He didn't actually reach out to me, but he did pull up to my house and he was just like talking to my mom. I guess he pulled up to my house looking for me and then my mom, she had called me. She was like, guess who here, girl? I'm like, who? Like, cause I don't, I don't talk to nobody. And she told me it was sneaky. I thought I was like, no, he not. She put us on the video chat and lo and behold, it was his black ass. Yeah. I'm like, he got a lot of nerves showing his face around these parts. But he was just saying like, oh, I changed. You know, I miss you this and that. I ain't fall for it. Uh-uh. I ain't fall for that. Mm-mm, y'all. But yes, that's it for this story. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, I hope it made you laugh a little bit. But it was... I mean, it makes me laugh now that it's been, it's been a long time since it happened. It makes me laugh now. But at the time I was very, I was very upset. I was so hurt. Like, I just couldn't believe how he could betray me like that. Like so much stuff came out about this man. It's crazy. I mean, but it is what it is now, but he, he did end up passing away. So, I mean, we were on pretty much good terms when he before he passed away so i mean i'm not gonna hold any grudges towards him it is what it is you live you learn and you move on you don't dwell on the past but um thank you so much for watching my story time please like comment and subscribe